Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the pyramid. Uh, pyramid is a structure whose outer surfaces are triangular and converges to a single step at the top. According to the different bases, there are different types of pyramid. Today we will discuss here about the square base pyramid only. There may be triangular base pyramid, circular base pyramid, uh, pentagonal base pyramid, or the rectangular base pyramid, different types of pyramid are there. Out of them, the, today we will discuss about the square base pyramid. A pyramid whose base is square is called the square base pyramid. We may see here, this is a pyramid. Here A, B, C, D is a base and which is square, ABCD is a square and these triangular faces PBC, PCD, PAD and PAB are the triangular faces. It is the square base pyramid. These are the parts of the square base pyramid. This side is called the edge and it is denoted by E means this P is the vortex of the pyramid and the line which join the vortex of the pyramid to the vortex of the base are the edges. Here PD is, a, is an edge, PC is an edge, PB, PA, these four are the edges here. And uh, all these edges will be equal since this is the square base pyramid. Here PD is equal to PA is equal to PB is equal to PC. These are the edges. And this one PL is the slanting height and it is denoted by L. What is the slanting height? The line which is drawn perpendicular from the vortex of the pyramid to the base side of the base perpendicular drawn from the vortex of the pyramid to the side of the base is called the slanting height L. We may draw other slanting height as well in the other sides here P, P, N, P, K, P, J can also be drawn here. These are the slanting heights and all the slanting heights will also be equal here. Similarly, this B, C, C, D, A, D, A, B are the equal sides of the square and the sides can be denoted by A and uh, the perpendicular drawn from the vortex of the pyramid to the plane is called the vertical height, actual height of the pyramid which is E L. These are the parts A, E, L, E L. Four variables will be there in the pyramid. We may see the pyramid here. This is square base pyramid. We have seen here this is a square, it is the base and these all triangular faces, they are converges to a point here. So this is a pyramid. From the definition, outer surfaces are triangular and they are converges uh, to a single step here. They are converges, so it is a pyramid. We may see here, this is the vortex of the pyramid and vortex of the base. These are the edges. This white line you have seen, these are the edges here. And uh, if we draw perpendicular from the vortex of the pyramid to the uh, side of the base, then this will be the slanting height. This line is the slanting height. And uh, this side, these are the side of the bases and sides, these are denoted by A here. And vertical height means uh, actual height. Slanting height means uh, height of the triangular faces and vertical height means the actual height of the pyramid means a perpendicular drawn from this vortex to the plane here on the base is the uh, vertical height or we may measure the vertical height by keeping it on the plane and another plane can be placed here and the distance between two parallel plane is the height of the actual height of the pyramid which is denoted by E H. And we may see here, this is the net of the square base pyramid. It is a square base. 
and these are the triangular faces. This is the vortex of the pyramid. These are the edges and these are the sides of the base. And you may see another pyramid also here. This is pyramid. It is a square base here. And these are the four triangular faces. And you may see the net of the uh, pyramid also. Uh, net of the pyramid will be like as this. You may see. If this pyramid is unfold, it will be like this. Uh, if we find the area of these four triangular faces, that will be the lateral surface area of the pyramid. And if we add the base area also, all together five faces are here. If area of the five faces are added, it will be the uh, total surface area of the pyramid. Okay, now let us discuss about the relation of these four variables of the pyramid. Uh, for this, let us see in this triangle, in triangle PLD, in triangle PLD, what type of triangle is PLD? Of course, it is a right angle triangle. Here, this angle is 90 degree. So, this one is hypotenuse. These two sides are perpendicular and base. So by using Pythagoras theorem, PD square is equal to PD square is equal to H square is equal to P square plus B square means uh, PL square plus DL square. Okay, what the PL is denoted by? PD is denoted by E. So E square is equal to PL is denoted by L, so it is L square. And what DL is? What will be the length of DL? For this, uh, PCD is a triangle here. In this triangle PCD, we have already discussed these two edges are equal. So PD and PC are equal, means it is an isosceles triangle. And the perpendicular drawn from the vortex of the isosceles triangle to the base bisect the base. So L bisect CD and uh, since total length of CD is A, this length of DL will be A by 2. The length of DL will be A by 2 just. So DL square means A by 2 whole square which means A square by 4. This is one relation, this is one formula to find the relation of E, L and A. Similarly, we may see this triangle here, uh, triangle PML, in triangle PML, it is also the right angle triangle, PML is also the right angle triangle since this angle is 90 degree here. Uh, then again using Pythagoras theorem, PL square is equal to, PL square is equal to, P square plus B square means PM square plus ML square. PM square plus ML square. Okay, what's the value of PL there? It's denoted by L. L square is equal to PM. It is H square plus again LM. ML, the value of ML will be, since this is A, the value of ML will be A by 2. Because uh, ABCD is a square and the perpendicular, in the, this is a right pyramid, this is also called the right pyramid. In the right pyramid, perpendicular drawn from the vortex of the pyramid to the plane will exactly at the center of the uh, square. So ML will also be half of BC, which is the half of the A, so the value of ML will be A by 2. So it will also be a square by 4. So this is another relation to uh, relate L, H and A. L square is equal to H square plus A square by 4. Similarly in third, from these two relation, another relation can be obtained here. E square is equal to, if the value of L square is equal to H square plus A square by 4 is placed here, H square plus a square by 4, this a square 4 is as it is, 
So we get e square is equal to uh, h square plus a square by 2. Okay. From these three relations, out of these four variables, if any two variables are known, we can find other third and fourth variable. These are the relations of E, L, H and A. Okay, with this now, we can discuss about the lateral surface area, total surface area and volume of the pyramid as well. Let us see what is the lateral surface area of the pyramid. Lateral surface area. Lateral surface area, it is also called the area of the triangular faces of the pyramid. You may see here, lateral surfaces means the area of these triangular faces are the lateral faces here. One, two, three, four triangular faces. And how, how these four, triang four triangles are here? These all are congruent. Since it is the square base right pyramid, all the four triangles are congruent here. And if we find the area of one triangle, then if we multiply it by four, we can find the area of all the four triangles, which will be the lateral surface area. So let us see what will be the area of one triangle here. Okay, let us see in the triangle uh, PCD. In triangle PCD, in triangle PCD, area is equal to, what is the area of the triangle PCD? We know area of the triangle is 1 by 2 base into height. So 1 by 2 into, what is the base here? CD. And the length of CD we have denoted it by A. So A times height. What is the height of this triangular faces? It is PL and it is denoted by L. So area of the one triangle is 1 by 2 A. So lateral surface area is equal to 4 times the area of one triangle. So 4 times 1 by 2 A times L is equal to twice A. So lateral surface area of the pyramid is twice A. Similarly, we can easily find the total surface area. Total surface area means all the area of the five faces, the sum of the area of the five faces. Area of the four faces we have already obtained here, it is twice AL. So, to find the total surface area, the area of the base, area of the square is also to be added. So, it is twice AL plus, what is the area of this square? Having the side A, it is A square. So, it is twice AL plus A square. And about the volume, volume of any pyramid is 1 by 3 area times height. Volume of any pyramid is 1 by 3 base area times height. This is the volume of the pyramid. So let us write the volume of the pyramid. 1 by 3 base area means, what is the base area here? A base is square having the side A, that's why it is A square times the vertical height. H means the vertical height of the pyramid, which is denoted by H. So 1 by 3 times A square times H. So the volume of the pyramid is 1 by 3 A square H is the volume. Okay, in the pyramid, now we can solve any problems of the pyramid with these certain formulas and with these certain concepts. Thank you for watching this video. We'll continue to post the other videos in the coming days. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe our channel.